John goes into these companies and he kicks trash cans and yells at everybody. That's by the way his style. Um, and he doesn't literally run them. doing that. Yes, yes. He, he doesn't run everything so well. I was talking to Neuralink people, and they're like, "We can't wait till he leaves because he's the so the brain disruptive. implant yes. that's going to go." Kara Swisher is once again firing shots at Elon Musk. This time, pushing the idea that Musk and Trump are bound to turn against each other. Let's dive into her latest take and what it's all about. Because, but he's, you know, he's great at being an entrepreneur and creating things. And one of the things he does well is disrupt and break. So he crashed, I don't know, 90 rockets before he got the right one. NASA can't do that. Mm -hmm. Government can't do that. Government can't crash because people, it's not the same thing as running a company by fiat, which he does. And he does very well in a very aggressive way. And that's fine, but it doesn't work when it comes to government. And, and quickly before we go, mm -hmm. how do you think the Trump-Musk relationship goes? Those are also two people who love a camera. I don't know. I think, you know, I think, he I think one thing that's going for him, he's very rich. He's the richest man in the world. And so Trump likes that. So he can hold on for a lot longer. In the end, I think they'll, it'll be like a Steve Bannon-like thing. He'll be too much attention and... But you never know. The money, money speaks to Donald Trump very much, and so possibly longer, but probably end in tears. She's not the only one throwing shade at Elon Musk. Just wait until you hear this. Musk is becoming like first buddy. You know, he's hanging around. Foreign leaders call. Trump puts him on the phone with him. He brings his family to Mar-a-Lago. He doesn't want a job, right? And, and I think in a funny way, Donald Trump is sort of in awe of Elon Musk because he's so rich. Blue Sky has also joined the conversation and you'll want to see this. Let's check it out. Elon Musk bought X and turned it into a, a you know, the, the social media arm of the MAGA movement. And we all sat there right in the middle of it during the campaign, possibly not realizing that we're sitting there like fat chickens just getting attacked all day and just being part of this MAGA messaging. However, the election's over. Everybody's getting smarter and better. I'm not sure that the right idea is to leave Twitter and just go to Blue Sky, a friendlier place, because then we remain in our echo chambers. I don't think that you should necessarily stay in Twitter every day and battle it out and let yourself doom scroll of all the hate coming at you. But I want to see it. I want to read what's happening there, right? And, and so I think at least staying in those spaces is important because I want to hear the other things. Eddie, you know the View has also weighed in on this topic, adding their perspective. Let's take a look. I do worry about with this, like the blue sky versus X, because a lot of people I follow on X Twitter have now left to go to blue sky. I worry we're all going into our own echo chamber. So we had this, you know, this election that was tense. Donald Trump won and the right is going to stay on X and then the left is all going to be on blue sky. How do we try to talk to well, each other? The, well, uh, the, uh, unfortunately, I, I will have to say How? the other side, I think, has driven people away because you it's you know it's not just discourse mm -hmm. it's nasty name calling yeah, and totally. coming after your family yeah. and i'm going to do this to let me know in the comments what you think about everything that happened in today's video i'd love to hear your thoughts whether you agree disagree or have a completely different perspective thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video